All right, so in this problem, we are given the value of the variable r, and we want to find the variable l. So let's plug in what we know, the r value, and isolate the l in order to solve. So we have r divided by 6, so we're going to plug in 5 instead of the r divided by 6, plus l divided by 5 equals 6 divided by 5. Now when we have these denominators and we want to work without them, we can find the LCD, which is the least common denominator, and get rid of these denominators. So the least common factor between 6, 5, and 5 is going to be 30. So we are going to multiply this entire expression by 30. So we have 5 times 30 divided by 6 plus L times 30 divided by 5 equals 6 times 30 divided by 5. Alright, so now let's start simplifying. We can simplify this 6 and 30 and turn it into a 5 in the numerator. So we have 5 times 5, which gives us 25. Plus L times 30 divided by 5, we can simplify this 5 and 30, and 5 goes into 30 6 times, so we have L times 6, which gives us 6L. Equals 6 times 30 divided by 5, and we can simplify this 5 and 30, and 5 goes into 30 6 times, so we have 6 times 6, which gives us 36. Alright, so now let's move this 25 from the left-hand side to the right-hand side by subtracting it on both sides. And so the, these two numbers cancel out, and we have 6L on the left-hand side and 36 minus 25, which gives us 11 on the right-hand side. So now we want to isolate this L. We are going to do so by dividing 6 on both sides. And so now we have L is equal to 11 divided by 6. And as you can tell, all of our answers are written as mixed numbers, and we want them as, and we have here an improper fraction. So let's turn this improper fraction into a mixed number by asking ourselves how many times does 6 go into 11, and that is one time. When 6 goes into 11 once, we have a remainder of 5, because we have 11 minus 6 equals 5. Alright, so our whole number is going to be this 1, and our remainder is going to be this 5 divided by our original denominator, 6. So the value of our L is going to be 1 and 5 sixths, and that corresponds with answer D in our problem.